it at home order. Driver, two vehicles, bonds, and emo. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. As the sit at home order by the indigenous people of Biafra, Iper, Brisa faced in Imo state, a bus driver yet to be identified have been burnt alive inside the bus at NBC in Imo state by some gunmen. Also set ablaze by the gunmen at the same in the NBC was a truck heading to Weary. The bus loaded with passenger was coming from Weary before it was attacked and set ablaze at Oboma Nguru, NBC, while the truck heading to Oweri was equally burnt at Ahira Junction. An eyewitness said that before setting the bus ablaze, the passengers were ordered out of the bus by the gunmen. Meanwhile, residents of Oweri on Friday shut down their businesses and stayed back in their various homes and houses in obedience to the IPOP order. The situation virtually paralyzed both economic and social activities in the entire state. All the major roads such as NBC, Okigwe, Wedrow, Douglas, Portacot, Onicha, and Abar Road and Street in Oweri were practically empty as the motorists and commercial vehicles were nowhere to be found to convey few stranded passengers on the roads to their destinations. The situation at the premises of hotels, eateries, motor parks, commercial institutions, Business centers in Oweri was the same as their gates were under lock and key. Tribune online correspondent who monitored the situation in Oweri said that the entire streets of Oweri were empty, while both small and major markets in the city were closed. This sit at home order, I suspect, have been hijacked by hoodlums and rascals. I agree, I totally agree. To, I totally agree. This was not how it began. No, this was not how it began at all. This was not how it began. It began in a very peaceful way. In fact, there were no attacks, no killings, no unknown gunmen, nothing of that nature. People were still living in peace. I do not know, but I support this particular one. That it has been hijacked by hoodlums and rascals. If not, why are these wasting of properties and waste of life? Exactly my point. Exactly, it has been hijacked by by hoodlums and rascals. But I want to say something. I'm no here. I'm 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 not supporting in any way the killings and the destruction of property. But if you are hungry and you are being chased by a hungry lion, hmm? let's say, for instance, you are hungry and they tell you this particular route is dangerous. Don't follow it. But because you are hungry, you want to get home so you can go and eat, that particular route is, is a shortcut. Will you take it or will you take the longer route? Yes, I'm not saying, I repeat, I am not saying, I repeat, that people should, people should um, destroy lives or property. All I am saying is that, since this, this particular information was passed on soon, nobody is saying there should be destruction of lives and killings. If this particular order has been this information has been passed on not just today, for a very long time. One day, just stay in your house. Stay indoors. Stay away from trouble. I could remember vividly during this NSAS um, period, many people, many officers that time, many officers at that time in Lagos, then their workers... <laughs> They had to call. It was later, later in the day that the worker called, called them that they could not come to work. Some people did not step out of their houses for fear of what would happen. Now then, there was no sit at home, but there was destruction of lives and property. Now, since you know this is, part, this is, this is almost similar to what was going on then, a peaceful protest being hijacked by hoodlums and rascals, and you could not sit at home. Even when it was announced, then it was not announced. People were doing it. 
and people for no reason closed their businesses and stayed indoors for their safety. Now you were not even informed them, but now you were informed. Don't come out for today. Just stay indoors for today. You could not move whatever business, whatever you were supposed to do from. Yes, it is not easy. But is it not, is it not, is obedience not better than sacrificing your life? Sacrificing your property? What simple obedience would do? I am in no way supporting the government. I, I beg your pardon. I mean, no supporting the killings. I mean, no supporting destruction of property. But what I'm still saying is, we should learn to follow directive. We should learn to do that. It will save us a lot. It will. Okay, now, okay, fine. You have come out and it has happened. Two persons, they say we are, we are, we are, we are dead. If not more, two persons and properties, we are being lost. What really caused you to stay indoors? At least stay indoors for that particular period. It was announced so that nobody would say, I am traveling all the way from Lagos to the east too. And in the east, in the mid, in the mid, in the middle of the day, I enter and something happens. Exactly what we are saying. Exactly. This information was passed on quick. I mean, for a long time, it has been going round. I believe that this country made the biggest mistake to have allowed a known, <laughs> this is harsh, despot failure like Buhari to rig himself to Asso Rock. But I want to ask a question, my people. All this carnage, killings, what purpose does it serve? It is our people that are being killed. This Nnamdi Kanu, who has he ever helped? Who has he paid school fees for? Who has he given money to start a business or businesses before? What has he done for Ndibu? If they grant him this Biafra, what he, would he do? He would become president. Is that all he wants? If these people are killing innocent Igbos like this, what will happen when he becomes president of Biafra? We would be creating another tyrant. The same thing we want to run away from Nigeria. This is in every way a question that each agitator should ask his or herself, him or herself, rather. I'm not pointing accusing fingers, but um, I hope this is not going to be the case. Believe me, I believe that the federal government has not been fair and just. But the indigenous people of Biafra should go back retreat and check themselves. These are your people that suffer the, they suffer the killings the most. The killings that happens. Yeah, well, it is believed that, um, it is believed that hoodlums and rascals have hijacked this particular, um, hype of movement. And okay, fine. And fine, what, what will be done about it? Now, going from the point of view now that all these killings is happening and you still press on and press on and more people are being killed, what is it to, me, to, 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 to some persons now? It is going to seem as if I am running away from the, I am running to the thing that I, am no, I do not want and I'm running in the same direction to the same thing, to the like of it. Killings are happening destruction of property has happened there is no law in the land and all of that so the people of biafra should make sure that this is not the case on this note we've come to the end of the news we say thank you for tuning in to listen tonight come your way next time enjoy the rest of your day